In this video we're going to take a look at how to play Queen's Beijou from uh, the Innuendo album. Uh, six years ago I actually did how to play, play the first part and promised to do the second part. Somebody commented the other day, have, when are you actually going to get around to do it? So it's been six years. So we'll probably start afresh and uh, just do the entire entire song instead of doing part two. And So we're starting off at the beginning. It's an unusual song because the uh, guitar intro is very small verse. And then a guitar outro. I think it was influenced by a Jeff Beck track from uh, Jeff Beck's workshop. Was it workshop or one of his albums? I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, which gave Brian May the idea. And basically, in the guitar tab, what you can see is. You could actually just play that 15, 17, 18 on the B string and the high E string. But what's happening is there's a tapping on the 20th. So you kind of tap between every note. Technically the guitar tab says you don't tap the first note, but you've got this kind of Or you could do that, but that's the proper way. The official book, band score book for innuendo, says to do it all on one string, but I do find it a lot easier to play. Like that. We then have this section where we're going. So sliding from the 10th of B into the 15th, then 12, 13 into the 15th, bend, release, 18th of B and release, 16, 15, 17 on the G. So, so far we've got So we're going to the B string 18th, you can see all this on the guitar tab, 18, 20, 17, 18, 20 on the high E, coming down, then on the B string 20, 18, 20, bend, then 20, 18, 17, 18, then the next bit. So we're kind of doing like the 19th frets of the D and the G. Then the B string, oh, gone off camera there. 17, 18, 20. Bend up. Down. As you can see on the guitar, dad, dad. then the 19th fret of the G to the 20th of B. 17, 18, 20. So you've got that. Next line, 22nd fret. This song, you do kind of need a 24 fret guitar 
to be able to get all the notes. Somebody's going to say, I've got a Fender Stratocaster with 21 frets. What do I do? I don't know. <laughs> so. And then we have the. So what we've got there is the 20 second bend up, release. Then we have a slide from the 5th into the 10th. Tap onto the 17th three times. Slide into the 12th, 13. Tap and then release on the 15th and bend that up. Can be thought of as a little bit awkward I suppose. Like that. Then we have the 18th fret of B. I'll do that again, because that's not right. So we've got the 18th there, and we're going to bend that up. You can see it on the guitar tab, like I say. 16, 18, then on the high E, 15, 17, 15, 17, 18, 17, 18, 20, bend. So you have that. Then very simply, So you've got that 20, 18, and then bend the 20th up on the high E string. Then again, 18, 22. So all together for the intro, we should have this. That's the intro. Then we've got the verse. Turn the volume down slightly. And we've got a, a, um, a chord progression. Each chord, four beats, or one bar. A minor. Turn it down a bit. G slash A. F major seven. To E minor seven. To C. G slash B to A minor 7 to F to C B flat A flat A flat slash G flat to F So the only chords that are going to maybe cause your problems is when I go from the B flat I want to do the A flat like that so I've got my little finger on the A flat fourth fret the third fret of A and bar that like that and I'm not playing the high A I'm going to do an A flat like that the reason being when it comes to an A flat slash G flat which is an unusual chord you just put your finger there on the F sharp or the G flat like that so we've got that, so from there, we go going to that, and it has a nice sound to F. So. Very, 
a beautiful chord progression. Now I've got the sheets for this uh, link being in the description. And uh, I, I have, I always do that in videos, get me, me teeth, put me teeth in. Um, it'll be on the blog so you can uh, save the, the, the sheets. I've uploaded a lot uh, recently um, of guitar tabs that I hadn't realized I hadn't uploaded to the blog uh, from over there. So check that out. So you're now coming to the outro bit. Uh, a lot of this is kind of based on what we've already done. Um, with a few twists. So. So what we've got there is that, that same, I'll turn the volume up a bit, uh, sliding in from the 10th to the 15th like we did before. Going to that 18th of A. Then to the 15th of B. You could go to the 13th or you could go to the 17th there. I've got it written as a 13th and then thought better of it. I thought, oh, 17th would probably be easier. So. We then have this next phrase where we're gonna go So we're on 13, 15, 17 like that, and we're going to be tapping the 20th. And we're going to, a little bit like what we did before, we're going like that. And we're doing that twice. Then we're going to go 18, 15, 17, 18. Bend, go to the 20th and bend. Then we're going to descend 20, 18, 17, 15. B string, 18, 17, 15. 17th of G, back to the 15th of B. And bend. So. Then we have this kind of little bluesy kind of lick, which is is, is quite clever. Um, so what I've got there is on the 10th fret of the B and the high E, back and forth, bend the 13th up, 13, 10, going down to the 8th, uh, bend and release go to the sixth and then we've got eight six five six like that. then to the seventh of G to the fifth of B and back pull off on the fifth bend the seventh probably easier just to read the tab and listen and it may roll out the notes then have this sorry so 15 17 18 20 bend go at the 22nd bend up to the 24th So you're bending up to the 24th three times, then up to the 25th, and then down again. This is where if you um, got a guitar with a 21 frets, you're going to really struggle, uh, or maybe have to adapt somewhere. But you've got that. Like that. That may be a bit tricky, depending on what level you're at. We then have this.
So we've got that sliding into the 10th to the 15th again. On the high E, 12, 13, 15 bend. 18, 17, 15. B, 18, bend. And release, 16. 15th of the G to the 18th of high E. Like that. So you've got that. Then right at the end, fourteenth fret set of the B in the high E to the eighteenth of high E. Twenty. Then the twenty-fourth fret right at the end there. So like I say, if you haven't got a guitar with twenty-four frets on. Yeah, a little bit snug that unless you bend the 21st right up then you could I suppose do it um, so that out row all the way through here goes always thank you for watching and uh, it's been probably long awaited <laughs> six years i get it eventually uh, on how to play queen's bijou